gentler invitations. <clears throat> I am Cassandra Pentecost, seeker of the Chantry. <laughs> and just, uh, what are you seeking? The champion. Which one? You know exactly why I'm here. <clears throat> Time to start talking, dwarf. They tell me you're good at it. <laughs> what do you want to know? Everything. Start at the beginning. to fight them sooner or later. Then we make our stand here. Prepare yourself. Keep this up forever. Perhaps we'll be lucky and they'll run out of Darkspawn. Here they come. Shall I give them a taste of my blade? All yours, brother. to them. Bullshit. That's not what really happened. Does that not match the story you've heard, Seeker? I'm not interested in stories. I came to hear the truth. <laughs> what makes you think I know the truth? Don't lie to me. You knew him even before he became the champion. Even if I did, I don't know where he is now. Do you have any idea what's at stake here? Let me guess. Your precious chantry's fallen to pieces and put the entire world on the brink of war. And you need the one person who could help you put it back together. The champion was at the heart of it when it all began. If you can't point me to him, tell me everything you know. You aren't worried I'll just make it up as I go? Not at all. You'll need to hear the whole story. The Blight have been unleashed on Ferelden. Dark spawn poured out of the wilds, clashing against the army at the ruins of Ostagar. The battle was a disaster. King Kaelin died on the field with his men. 
betrayed by his most trusted general. Unopposed, the Horde marched on the village of Lothering. The village burned, and many innocents were slaughtered. The champion's family barely escaped in time. I think that's all of them. For the moment, make us save us. We've lost it all. Everything your father and I built. At least we're alive. That's no small feat. Yes. You're right. We should have run sooner. Why did we wait so long? Why are you looking at me? I've been running since Ostagar. Not to interrupt, but the Blight's not going to wait while we stand here pointing fingers. Please. Listen to your brother. Then let's go. Lead on. Wait. Where are we going? Away from the Darkspawn. Where else? And then where? We can't just wander aimlessly. So long as we wander aimlessly away from the Horde, I'm happy. We can go to Kirkwall. Well, that wouldn't be my first choice. There's a lot of Templars in Kirkwall, Mother. I know that, but we still have family there, and an estate. <sighs> then we need to get to Guaran and take ship. If we survive that long, I'll just be happy to get out of here. Not while I breathe. Stop squirming, Wesley. You'll make it worse. Apostate, keep your distance. Mother Maker has a sense of humor. Darkspawn and now a Templar. I thought they all abandoned Lothering. The spawn are clear in their intent, but a mage is always unknown. The order dictates. Wesley. The order dictates. Dear, they saved us. The Maker understands. Of course. I am Aveline Valen. This is my husband, Sir Wesley. We can hate each other when we're safe from the Horde. A strange time to be hunting apostates. His fellows left with the Chantry priests. I was traveling to Denerim on business for the Order, but I had to turn south when I heard of Ostagar. Bad luck and judgment brought us together here before the attack. The nice Templar has been convinced to postpone his hunt for illegal mages. So let's not dwell upon it, shall we? Wise girl. For a while, it looked like we were the only ones to escape the Darkspawn. We aren't free of them yet. You didn't see Ostagar. This is just the start. You were there. Yes, I see it now. Third Company, under Captain Varrell. Then you saw how the whole of the army was defeated. We fell to betrayal, not the Darkspawn. This arm of the Horde will not have the same advantage. For now, we move with you. North is cut off. We barely escaped the main body of the Horde. Then we're trapped. The wilds are to the south. That's no way out. If the options are south or die, I'll take my chances with south. Make a gift. 
me strength. Wake up. The battle's over. We're fine. I'm sorry, mistress. Your daughter is gone. No. These things will not take Bethany. Bethany risked her life to save us. I don't want a hero. I want my daughter. How could you let her charge off like that? Oh, my poor little girl. My sweetheart. If we stand here weeping, the Darkspawn will take the rest of us, too. Allow me to commend your daughter's soul to the Maker, Mistress. Ashes we were, and ashes we become. Maker, give this young woman a place at your side. Let us take comfort in the peace she has found in eternity. I will never forget you, Bethany. Our lives are more valuable to her than our prayers. Let's go. Flames. We're too late. I'll deal with this! How about you? What a mess! There's no end to them. What have we here? It used to be we never got visitors to the wilds, but now it seems they arrive in hordes. Impressive. Where'd you learn how to turn into a dragon? Perhaps I am a dragon. If so, Count yourself lucky. The smell of burning Darkspawn does nothing for the appetite. If you wish to flee the Darkspawn, you should know you are heading in the wrong direction. So you're just going to leave us here? And why not? I spotted the most curious sight. A mighty ogre vanquished. Who could perform such a feat? But now my curiosity is sated, and you are safe, for the moment. Is that not enough? You could show me that trick of yours. That looks useful. <laughs> I dare say it is. Such a clever tongue for a mage. Tell me, clever child, how do you intend to outrun the Blight? We're going to Kirkwall, in the Free Marches. Kirkwall? My, but that is quite the voyage you plan. So far, simply to flee the Darkspawn. 
Any better suggestions? I hear the deep roads are vacant now. <laughs> oh, you I like. Hurtled into the chaos, you fight, and the world will shake before you. Is it fate or chance? I can never decide. It appears fortune smiles on us both today. I may be able to help you yet. There must be a catch. <laughs> there is always a catch. Life is a catch. I suggest you catch it while you can. Should we even trust her? We don't even know what she is. I know what she is. The Witch of the Wilds. Some call me that. Also Flemeth. Asha Bellinar. An old hag who talks too much. <laughs> Does it matter? I offer you this. I will get your group past the Horde in exchange for a simple delivery to a place not far out of your way. Would you do this for a Witch of the Wilds? You would go through all that trouble to have something delivered. I have an appointment to keep. It is far more convenient this way. Happily, you are not without your own needs. Roast a few more Darkspawn, I'll do anything you want. Sadly, my charity is at an end. There is a clan of Dalish elves near the city of Kirkwall. Deliver this amulet to their keeper, Marathari. Do as she asks with it, and any debt between us is paid in full. Before I take you anywhere, however, there is another matter. <coughs> no, leave him alone. What has been done to your man is within his blood already. You lie! She's right, Aveline. I can feel the corruption inside me. What are you talking about? From the dark spawn. All that blood. I knew... when it happened. And how much time before you? Not long now, if I am any judge. This corruption is the permanent sort, I take it? The only cure I know of is to become a Grey Warden. And they all died at Ostagar. Not all. But the last are now beyond your reach. Aveline, listen to me. You can't ask me this. I won't. Please. The corruption is a slow death. I can't. He's your husband, Aveline. I can't decide his fate. Without an end, there can be no peace. It gets no easier. Your struggles have only just begun. Flemeth! I thought that might interest you. You expect me to believe a myth swooped out of the wild to save the champion? Oh, come now, Seeker. Do I need to recite the tale of the Warden as well? No. Perhaps I shouldn't be surprised to hear of her involvement. I liked my version better, too. What else aren't you telling me, then? Did she send someone with the champion? In a matter of speaking. So it's true. Continue. But if you tell me they all flew to Kirkwall on a dragon... Nothing so fanciful, I assure you. The witch kept her word. ...and got them to Guaran, where they took ship. 
They sailed north across the waking sea, lashed by terrible storms. Two weeks they spent in that dark hold, packed in with the fearful and the desperate. And then they saw it. Kirkwall, the city of chains. Long ago, it was part of the Imperium. Slaves coming from far and wide to work the quarries. Now, it's a free city. But I use the word loosely. Sail through those black cliffs and you'll see what the slaves of old saw. The gallows, welcoming you. That's where their ship landed, with all the rest. anyone into the city what that can't be it's true look at them all are we really surprised everyone's fleeing the blight just as we are and they would throw us all back to the wolves unbelievable I'm only surprised they let us dock we need to find Gamlet our family has always been highly regarded in Kirkwall he can do something, I'm sure of it. Let's hope he received your letter. The guards seem to be reporting to that man. Perhaps we should speak to him. Get back to the crowd, you lot. Trying to bully your way through won't get you into Kirkwall any faster. But you do intend to let us in. <laughs> we have enough poor of our own in the free marches. We don't need you refugees piling up here like a midden's heap. Why aren't we being allowed into the city? If it were up to me, I'd bar the gates and let you find somewhere else to beg. But it's not. Some of you lot might have legitimate business in the city. So Knight Commander Meredith wants us to sort you all out. Most of you are getting right back on your ships, though. That's a Templar title. Why would a city guardsman answer to the Templars? We don't answer to her, but she's the power in Kirkwall. Don't know what would happen if the Viscount went against something she wanted. But he's sure never taken that chance. There must be someone in charge I can speak with. <sighs> yes, yes, always the same story. You want in, talk to Captain Yuald. I'm just here to keep you refuse from climbing the walls. Let us through, you flaming blighter. We're not staying in this pit. Then get back on your ship and leave. Kirkwall has no more room for refugees. The ship's already gone. We've paid good coin to get here. You and half of Ferelden. There's nothing I can do. The city is full. One of the guards said you were letting in people who have business in the city. That's right. We've seen you let lots of people through. Citizens and merchants that make it worth our while. I'll assume that you don't have any more coin than these gentlemen. We've been letting you Ferelden's in for months. You're too late. There's no more room. But we've got family here. I've heard claims like that a thousand times already, trust me. We'll find some ships to take you all back to Ferelden, eventually. Until then, you stay here. If you find our uncle, Gamlin Amel, you might just have a few less refugees bothering you. Gamlin? I know that name. He's a nobleman here in the city. Our family has an estate. A nobleman? The only Gamlin I know is a weasel who couldn't rub two coppers together. He comes back, I'll bring you to him. But I don't have time to... What? You gonna let them through? I didn't say anything about... We've been here for four days! They just got here! That's it! We're carving our way out of here! Men!
Unbelievable. <sighs> Captain, are you all right? I am, no thanks to you. Where is everyone? Go find them. I want this kept under control. You have my thanks. Look, I can't get you into the city. It's not my decision. But I'll find your uncle and bring him here. It's been three days. This waiting has to end. I'm sure it won't be much longer. Gamlin must still be looking for us. And if he's not... Don't look now, but I think that's our man. Leandra! Damn, girl, the years haven't been kind to you. Gamlin! Let me say up front, I wasn't expecting this. The Blight, your husband... dead. I'd, uh, figured you'd pretty much be Ferelden for life. Oh, Gamlin. We came too late. My darling Bethany didn't make it. I'm dressed to guide her. Oh, make her save me. Leandra, don't drop this on me here. I don't even know if I can help you get in. Would it help if I said you were my favorite uncle? <laughs> it would make me feel better, but that's about it. I was hoping to grease some palms, but the Knight Commander's been cracking down. We're gonna need more grease. But... what about the estate? Surely Father left something when he died? Right, uh, about the estate. It's... um... gone. To settle a debt. I've been meaning to write you. Then there's no hope. N not quite. I know some people who might help. If you're not too delicate about the company you keep. Mother said our family was wealthy. You really can't help us. I am blighted helping. I've got two offers of work from people who've got the coin to open those gates. I still can't believe you sold the estate. Gamlin, how could you? Well, I didn't expect your blasted family to show up on my doorstep. I've got a nice place in Lowtown. You'll see, it'll all work out. Let's hear it, Uncle. What do you have in mind? I talked to my contacts, and I found some people who might be willing to pay your way into the city. The catch is, you and your brother will have to work off the debt. For a year. A year? It's the best I could do. Trust me when I say a bunch of refugees won't get a better option anywhere else. I'm sure we'll be free and clear before we know it. I managed to convince my contacts to come to the gallows to meet you personally. Miran heads up the mercenary company, the Red Iron. They're looking for recruits. A Fenril. I guess you might call her a smuggler. Either one of them can help you. All you need to do is find them in the courtyard and convince them you're worth the trouble. Let's find them and see what they have to say. Oh, Gamlin, I don't know about this. It's a lot of coin, Leandra. Don't go expecting our name to carry the kind of weight it used to. And what of me? I will not allow others to incur debts on my behalf. <laughs> Can't see that it makes a difference. You look like a lady who can pull her own weight. Then you'll come with us. I... have no real option. Thank you. Miran. Ha! Huh. So you're Hawk, the nephew. Your uncle talked up a storm about you. He better not be blowing more smoke out his ass. I'd like to know more about you first. Right. You're not a marcher like your uncle. The Red Iron is well known in these parts. We pick who we work for and keep our noses clean. But anyone screws with us, we mess them up. Makes sense. Makes sense. All I know is if we join the company, I'm going to start talking like that. I'm ready to prove myself. Noble bastard named Friedrich is here in the gallows. Gave us bad info. Almost killed my men. Now he's hiding out here, waiting for a ship. He sees us coming, he'll run for sure. But he doesn't know you. Go kill him and his men. We'll make sure no one asked why. Have you checked the courtyard again? He's still out there, but he's alone. And he's not making a move. 
I don't trust this. What will we do when the ship comes? Wait, who are you? I demand to know what you're doing here. What, this isn't the tavern? I'm so disappointed. Miran sent them. I'm not an idiot. I could have figured that out for myself. Look, you. I don't know what that pissant thug is paying you. But I'll double it. Just let us go. All we want is a way into Kirkwall. What? I don't have that kind of coin. I'm having trouble leaving the damned city. So the Red Iron sent refugees after us? Ah, stinking dog lords. Kill them and send their bodies back to Miran. <laughs> Dead and buried. Well, dead. Good. May the bloody vultures feast on his corpse and shit him into the ocean. <laughs> I'm telling you, I love this guy. Welcome to the Red Iron. Tell your uncle I'm making the arrangements now. Any luck? Was there ever any doubt? I'll speak to Miran and see when the bribes can be made. Wait here. I guess we did it. We're here to stay, at least for a while. No more running for our lives unless we really have to. If only Bethany were here with us. And Wesley. Well, we're off to a fantastic start. Let's see what else this city has in store. <laughs>